Today, we're excited to tell you about a new limited edition GS Mini that has come into our possession. This is the Cinnamon Dulce Macchiato Latte GS Mini. Not really, but we're gonna tell you what it really is, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for our custom swag. And also check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, uh, which we will talk about cool stuff. Maybe even this, uh, coffee-themed guitars. Mm -hmm. Is that what's in our future? So this is beautiful, obviously. Interesting yeah. and limited. Uh, we only have... Oh, a little over a handful of these guitars. So if you're watching this six months later, sorry, um, that's my PSA for you. But this is this is beautiful. It's very figured wood. This is a limited edition GS Mini with back and sides of African Zirakote. Zirakote. Which is interesting because I didn't know Zirakote grew in Africa. Uh, under, what I understand is Zirakote, as we've seen it before, is from Mexico and Central America. Um, and it also doesn't really look like this. So I'm guessing this is some variation uh, of the species that is in Africa um, that I'm just not familiar with. Yeah. So, uh, and it looks very different, but it looks very beautiful. It's almost like a negative, you know. It is. It's like a reverse because Zitacote typically has these like dark veins and it looks like three dimensional layered, mm -hmm. but it's always dark wood. I've never seen it like this where it literally looks like you had an espresso shot and some cream poured in and it's just swirling. Yeah, it's a, of all the limited GS Minis that we've seen in the past, you know, couple years, mm -hmm. it kind of sets itself apart for me. Some, I mean, I really like all of them that they do. The Quilted Cipelo is mm -hmm. one of my favorites. But this is just kind of it's very striking, special, striking kind of look, yeah. It reminds me a lot of, I have a custom tailor that's Macassar Ebony. Mm -hmm. And we've seen, Macassar Ebony does a lot of this streaking, stripey, black, white, black, cream kind of coloring. Um, but again, this is almost like the reverse. There's a lot lighter stuff with the dark vein going through it. Um, so very, very cool and just stunning to look at. Outside of that, it's a GS Mini, which lots to love there. Um, yep, it's got a black pit guard on it, which black, yeah. no tortoises were harmed in the making of this guitar. No faux tortoises. No faux tort. <laughs> Ebony fingerboard and bridge, as usual, which I think is incredible that on a value-priced small guitar like the GS Mini is that Taylor, even on the baby Taylors, Taylor continues to use ebony, mm -hmm. um, which is awesome because a lot of other builders will use other woods to lower the cost of some value yeah. positioned guitars. So pretty awesome there. Um, and you've got the short scale length of the GS Mini, the great playability. You've got this one with electronics with the ESB. So it's basically the ES2 pickup element with a different preamp. Instead of your volume, um, treble, and bass that you have in your active pickup array, you've got tone and volume and then a built-in tuner, which is pretty cool. And then you get a gig bag. As per usual, nice gig bag. Yeah. Now, before we get to the demos, Chris played this earlier, and I was asking him how he liked it. He said it sounds fantastic. And then he basically said, I know layered woods shouldn't make that much of a difference, and they don't, but then they kind of do. But it seems to. <laughs> it seems to. Um, and I got to play it myself, and it does. Right. I mean, all GS Minis sound pretty good. And yeah. play pretty good, but it's it's a pretty good sound. It has a, like a special. bassiness and a mid-range yeah. richness to it that I'm just kind of like, you know, just as a professional in this industry for so long, reading all the specs, hearing all of the information, the, the, the wisdom is that layered wood should not really be contributing to tone. And yet, there are plenty of times that I've played different layered woods and this is one of those times and I'm just like, huh, sounds it good. sounds different. Yeah. It sounds different than a walnut backed one that my my son owns one. Yeah. And so I've played that a lot and uh, or a rosewood one or mm -hmm. anything like that. Obviously different than a mahogany topped or koa topped one. But uh, yeah, it sounds really, really good. The real pro the only problem with this guitar is that the strings are on the wrong side. Yeah. like. That's just killer looking. Beautiful wood. I want to know more about it. So we did put it through its paces, and you can hear for yourself and determine for yourself if you think it sounds a little different than a normal GS Mini. Check it out.
And we're back. So that was the demo for you. It is a fantastic sounding guitar, great playability. And GS Minis are just phenomenal. Now, if you don't already have a GS Mini, I have a GS Mini, you have a GS Mini. Zach, you've got a GS Mini over there, right? Like, they're just phenomenal guitars. And good news, if you're watching this video sometime between May 24th and July 11th, we have a Taylor Days promotion going on where you can purchase a 200 series deluxe and up mm -hmm. and get either a Baby Taylor or GS Mini for a greatly reduced price. Do you want to give us the details? Yeah, so if you are buying one of those guitars, it's very cool. The last time they did it, it was 300 series and up. Mm -hmm. The 200 deluxe guitars are extremely popular and very cool, and I think that it's nice they included them in this because they're some of the most kind of fly-off-the-shelf guitars that we have. Um, great 214 or what have you, but with a hard case and right. you know just really nice value. Um, so 200 deluxe and up, you can add on a BT1, Baby, Baby Taylor. Taylor. Um, no electronics, just BT1 for $99. Mm -hmm. If you want to add a GS Mini Mahogany, also no electronics, but the classic, just, you know, again, one of the other ones that just go Super like popular, crazy. yeah. Um, GS Mini Mahogany, $199. Awesome. Pretty insane. They've done it before, and it was the most tailors that I've seen at one time. That just, we sold. Yeah, yeah. just go. Um, it's such a huge value because, like, between you know you and me and everyone else watching on the internet, um, you're probably going to buy a tailor anyway, right? So the people buying a tailor during this time frame anyway, just get a huge bonus. Take advantage of it, you know. And yeah. Even if you already have a GS Mini, add a different flavor. Add a baby tailor. I've got an old, uh, twenty year old baby tailor now at this point. Yeah. And every once in a while, I pull that out instead of the GS Mini, and it's just. It's fun to play. It's awesome. I've high strung it before. I've done all sorts of stuff with it. So. so I think about just those two examples. If you're looking for a great value 200 series guitar, you can get yourself a 214 CE K Deluxe. You know, incredible guitar. Add on GS Mini Mahogany. Two just lifelong things that you can hold right. on to forever. One that's great for the stage and for performance. One that's great for travel. I mean, really, really nice options. And we have a ton of really cool stuff, 200 and above, you know, 200 deluxe and above. But if you're saying, listen, Cooper, Chris, I've got my tailors. I'm not buying a full-size tailor right now, but I'd love a GS Mini. So we've got all the normal ones, but this limited guy is going to sell out pretty quick. Um, and like I said, I asked for more than Taylor would give me. Um, so that means they're a limited supply. So if you'd like to get one, make sure you visit our website. Where should they go, Cooper? Alamo Music. Dot com. We should come up with like a jingle. Something to the tune of Clef Brothers, you know. <laughs> Old commercial. Inside yeah. joke. Anyways, yeah, so alamomusic.com. You can check it out, and each one of these looks differently. So feel free to come in, call, email, or message. Uh, you can chat with our guys on the website and ask, like, hey, which ones do you have in stock? Can you send me photos? And if you're early on this, you can, you know, have your pick of the litter, so to speak. Uh, but they're all beautiful. Yeah, we didn't even go in to see which one of these looks the coolest for the video. This Actually, just... what I did is I took the box, like the great Karnak on Johnny Carson, and I held it up, and I went, this is the prettiest one, and this is what came out of the box. So, I don't know. Yeah, but um, if you want this one, call in and say, I want the one from the video. Yeah. And if we still have it, it's yours. So... That's it. The uh, caramel macchiato. What was the other thing that we said it looked like uh, other than coffee and cream? Uh, Josh, do you remember? Rorschach. Rorschach test. Yeah, it looks like a Rorschach test. Down there, uh, we said that that's a frog uh, or, a, or a manta ray. Um, definitely something. But yeah, if you see something beautiful, then you have to have this guitar. And if you see something scary, I think you also have to have this guitar. Yeah, but it also just changes speak, the genre. Dude. Speak to... <laughs> speak to a shrink about it so anyways beautiful guitars uh love limited editions and very cool wood i hope they do something more with it uh so check out our website for more information and as always remember the best guitar in the world is the one that you're playing if it looks like this all the better if you're new to the channel subscribe turn on notifications like our videos and keep coming back for more we'll see you next time mm -hmm.